Welcome to my weekly market roundup for January 2020. I am Sagan Nandi. I used to work in information technology mostly based in Singapore. I retired several years ago and now living in Thailand. Swing trading stocks. You will find this and other trading videos on my YouTube channel Trading Profitably. You may contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share stock analysis on my traders forum sagannandi.com and also on the Twitter page sagannandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. After that commodities analysis, I will demonstrate the use of 360 degrees analysis to identify potential trades. That is a technique where you can align the market, sector industry, fundamental and technical forces with your trade, thereby giving you some of the lowest risk and highest probability trades. That was the last slide of the presentation. Now I will continue with the live system. I am beginning with the oil ETF USO analyzing it with the weekly daily at a glance template weekly using the backdrop chart template daily using the hop on or entry chart template I call this at a glance template because using this template in only a few seconds you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge. In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color is bullish for 5 weeks now. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily price is in an uptrend. Friday's candle color and shape both are bullish. Though it has a solid body, the lower tail is larger compared to the body. That's why I'm concluding the overall shape to be bullish. Not to mention the huge move it had relative to Thursday's close. Oil is bullish. However, it is above the upper boundary. That is too extended for me to look for a buy setup right now. Oil is also near the watermark resistance level in the daily chart and just above the watermark resistance in the weekly chart. Earlier from that price level, oil dropped significantly. If there is a decline in oil's price next week, from these watermark resistance levels then you may look for a low risk shorting opportunity and if you use intraday fine tune chart template then you may be able to catch that shorting opportunity if that comes with minimal risk gold ETF GLD 
this is also looking very bullish this week's candle color and shape both are extremely bullish and the bullishness increased over past three weeks in the daily chart it moved up sharply far above the upper boundary level to extend it for me to look for a buy setup now when gold broke out of a sideways narrow range in this area at that time i suggested buying some gold mining stocks as gold went up those gold mining stocks have also gone up considerably you could reap a significant profit by buying those stocks when i shared them in my traders forum why don't we spend a few minutes reviewing the two gold mining stocks that i suggested buying i shared them in my traders forum sagarnandi.com one of them was ssrm i can search for that post in the forum this was the post i suggested the idea on 29th november 2019 and this is how the 360 degrees analysis looked like at that time right on that day i saw that the gold mining industry turned very bullish and it was relatively weak just the day before looking at the industry strength i decided to look for some gold mining stocks that i could buy i found this stock ssrm ssr mining which was up 2.4% at that time on that day it had a short squeeze potential and it had excellent earnings growth fundamentally the stock was looking strong and my last step was to look for a technical buy setup this is how the charts looked when i shared the idea the weekly was bullish in color and shape and daily was breaking out of the triangle pattern breaking out of the memory resistance trend line giving a breakout technical long trade setup therefore i could find a buying opportunity in a gold mining stock ssrm just when the industry was strengthening and the stocks fundamentals were also very strong i shared it on 29th november let's look at ssrm today this is ssrm as of friday's market close i suggested buying the stock on this day 29th november as it was breaking out of the triangle pattern the triangle pattern is not there anymore because it has been broken since then price went up considerably at this point itself you covered more than the risk distance and you could book at least partial profit and let profit run on the remaining position after that price has gone up further resulting in higher profit in the remaining position on this thursday the stock displayed a headwind possible reversal signal looking at that you would apply trailing stop on the remaining position on friday again it displayed a bearish shape candle and it displayed the bear release signal therefore you would keep the trailing stop in place if price can revert and go up next week then your stop will not be hit and you will continue to let profit run and if price goes down then you will hit the trailing stop on the remaining position 
the remaining position will still close out with a significant profit and following my technique you would have already booked partial profit at this point the SSRM gold mining trade ended up with a significant profit let's look at another gold mining stock that I suggested buying while gold was going up that was on the stock party gold ticker symbol gold gold and I shared that on 24th December as usual I shared the 360 degrees analysis let's look at that by that time the gold mining industry was clearly turning into strength I looked at the peer analysis fundamental peer analysis of the gold mining industry stocks and I found GOLD to be one of the strongest when I combined the valuation with the earnings growth it had a revenue growth as well fundamentally GOLD was looking the strongest in the gold mining industry when the industry itself was going up my last step would be to look for a technical buy setup this was how the technicals were looking like on the left hand side is the chart of the gold ETF GLD daily chart and on the right hand side is the chart of the stock body gold ticker symbol GOLD right on that day gold ETF GLD broke out of the memory resistance with a bullish candle while gold broke out this stock GOLD body gold gave a trend following go with flow long trade setup you could identify that from the cyan flow color candle in the stock while it was already in an uptrend I shared this trend following long trade in GOLD on 24th December how did it move after that let's look at its chart today this is body cold as of Friday's market close I suggested the stock buying idea on this day 24th December after that price went up now we have a series of yellow color candles at the right edge when I shared the idea I took a long position using synthetic stock that is I shorted the put options and bought the call options by the time price came to this level the short put option had more than 50% of the max profit long call option also had about 50% profit I decided to close my entire position at that time I decided to close the trade because the stock was stalling at that point it was not continuing to go up which was my expectation when I entered the trade in any case I closed the trade with a significant profit in less than a week those two trades in gold mining stocks were live examples of 360 degrees technique in action where you could align the sector industry fundamental and technical level strengths in your favor the 360 degrees analysis technique starts with the market level analysis the aim is to infer if the market is bullish or bearish or neutral if bullish then you may look for only long trades if bearish then you may take only short trades and if the market level is neutral or indecisive then you may stand aside let me carry out the market level analysis now using the four broad market ETFs
S and P five hundred ETF SPY using the weekly, daily, at a glance template. In the last market roundup, when the SPY made a new all-time high, even QQQ and DIA also made new all-time highs. I suggested caution and suggested not to add to your long positions. That was based on the bearish headwind signal that came in SPY and similar weaknesses were there in all the other three market ETFs as well. That analysis was very useful because this week price didn't go up. The weekly ended up with an indecisive shape candle and the color also turned neutral. If you look at the volume or activity bar in the weekly chart, you see the color is red, showing that price actually came down this week, though not much. In the daily, price moved down, tried to go up and then on Friday moved down again. Ended the week in an indecisive manner. Looking back, my analysis one week ago turned out to be quite accurate and useful, isn't it? The weekly and daily together is looking indecisive and I will suggest continued caution, avoid taking new long trades, especially in stocks that are fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. This also displayed the bearish headwind signal one week ago. Looking at that, I suggested caution. Again, that was timely because this week's candle color turned neutral, yellow, shape turned indecisive. Price slightly went up and it is continuing to outperform the market. Here also, the weekly daily together is looking indecisive and you may avoid taking new long trades. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA DIA also displayed the Perry Shedwin one week ago. I used that to express caution. That was timely because this week's candle shape is indecisive, almost a perfect doji candle and the color in the weekly chart has turned neutral. Price went down slightly from the previous week. It had displayed the bearish headwind in the daily chart last week and this week it has displayed a bearish headwind in the weekly chart. That is more reason to be cautious not only in DIA but in industrial stocks in general. Russell 2000 ETF IWM It didn't have a bearish headwind in the daily chart one week ago. Instead it had the reversal candle at the very top price extreme high. That was what I used to express caution. In the weekly chart, IWM turned neutral and indecisive, neutral in color, indecisive in shape, one week ago itself. This week, price came down slightly. The color is remaining neutral, shape is remaining indecisive. Therefore, all the market ETFs turned from bullish to neutral or indecisive. And that is why I suggest continued caution. You may avoid buying new stocks, especially in overvalued or overbought stocks. The market level was indecisive. What about the sector level? You can decide that from this one month sector performance graph. The red bars represent this week's performance green bars previous week's performance and blue bars two weeks performance before that. Together they represent 
one month of sector performance. This week, three sectors went up and eight went down. Compare that with the previous week when nine sectors were up and two were down. Therefore, this week is clearly weaker than the previous week. And even before that, for the two weekly period, 10 sectors were up and only one was down. It is gradually weakening from the two weeks to previous week to the current week. That weakening is clear from the bar chart as well. Most of the sectors went down and they went down by much bigger percentages. Out of the three sectors that went up, energy and infotech almost closed at break even. Only industrials went up that too by a small percentage. This sector analysis is showing weakness coming into the market. Another reason to be cautious. The sector graph gives you some idea about the sector rotation. However, that picture is much clearer from this sector scorecard and heat map. Here I can look at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods 10 day, 5 day, 2 day, 1 day and 0 day that is in real time. When looking for buy candidates, I look for them in the strongest sectors. For the weekly period, that is energy and industrials. If you follow my market roundups, then you know that several months ago, when the energy sector color was changing from magenta to cyan, I suggested buying into the sector at that time. I think well ahead of others. If you bought energy stocks at that time, you already have a significant profit in those trades. Industrials is the strongest sector over five day period. How far? It weakened a bit over two day, one day and on Friday. Therefore, you may be cautious buying industrial stocks. I also showed from the analysis of DIA that it is indecisive and suggested caution in buying industrial stocks. If you are at all looking for buying candidates, where will you look for them? Real estate sector can be a place to look for buy setups. Why? Because on Friday, it strengthened heavily. And if you look at the pace column, that shows the acceleration, deceleration. Cyan color shows acceleration. You can see that real estate was the most accelerating sector on Friday. You could probably drill down into real estate industries and look for undervalued stocks that are starting to go up. Remember this picture? I used it in the previous market roundup itself. Though the market made new all-time high that time, three of the market ETFs displayed headwind possible reversal signals and IWM displayed the reversal candle at price extreme or pendulum high. Those led me to express caution and I suggested not buying new stock positions. That was very timely and effective because this week price couldn't go up. All the four market ETFs are now clearly indecisive. The weekly candles are indecisive both in shape as well as in color. The sector graph shows continued weakening from two-week period to the previous week to this week. You may see what the market is doing next week before taking your next swing trend. 
that is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.